Alexandra. Uh, hey, folks. <laughs> What's up? Since when did you call us folks? Do you have any idea what time is it? We have been worried about you. We thought that you could manage fine walking home from school. But what time is it? It's six, so shut up, Spike. Hey, you never tell me to shut up. We talked. You were missing for crying out loud. <gasps> we talked you got kidnapped. Okay, I was running out of load, so I can call. And if you're asking, I went to Karina's house. Without our permission. Stop yelling. I went to Karina's house to eat some dinner with her, that's all. D dinner I know that's uh, weird, but she invited me over. So, yeah. You know what? You're really bad at making explanations. <laughs> you know, Alex, you should have known that we needed your help around here. Help? For what? Doing chores? Wow. No! We could have used your hand for helping Bobby. Well, sorry, but I'm still not one of you guys who's trying to do some robot stuffs and investigations like my dad used to be. <laughs> Alex, we're not saying that you're going to be like us. But really though, we could have used a little hand here. Because Spike was busy doing this nanny thing to Bobby. Hey, don't blame my music. What about you who was so busy making languages for her? Hey, I did that for fun. What about you? You didn't do anything. You just washed the dishes. Oh my gosh, I love the water. Oh my gosh, I'm doing some chores. You're not even helping. Duh, I'm a girl, not a boy like you guys who likes robots. If Kristoff were here, he would have fired you. Excuse me? Okay, guys. Also, you guys' fault is not doing anything good because I have my own life and I'm used to it. Excuse, Excuse me? Us? You know, none of this would have happened if it wasn't for you. Who's being so sneaky with everything. Hey, don't blame me why I'm always left out here. You know what? I can't take it anymore. I'm going to my room. Because, <laughs> because, I don't want to listen to this fight with boys and tomboys. Hey, who are you calling a tomboy? Anyways, how's Bobby? She's still dead thanks to you. Don't use the word dead, and it's not my fault. Then whose fault is it? Bobby's just a robot, you know? Ugh, I can't take it anymore. You guys are not my parents. And I'm going to my room and doing some homework. You know, Fred, I feel kind of bad. I mean, Alex lives here, and she's lucky to live with us, and we shouldn't be exactly yelling at her. I mean, it's not really that her fault. I mean, she's a teenager and all, so... You know what? I'm so jealous because she can go to school and I can't! <laughs> <sighs> Okay, so we're just gonna do the plan then. You know, I'm not really joining, but I think it's your plan, so... Uh, fine. So what is your plan? I'm just gonna end their friendship relationship. That's all. Wow, Minty, that's the stupid way to do it. I mean, they're best friends. And then... Uh, how... I mean, Karina doesn't even know that Alex has a robot, and you can't tell that either because Karina doesn't know about ours, because, yeah. Whatever, I just don't want to hear your stupid idea. Hey! Okay, so I'm doing my thing. I'm guessing you're gonna fail, Minty. Hi, Karina! Can I come in? Oh, thank you. What do you want, Minty? I don't usually ask this, but can I borrow your iPhone? Um, why? You know, just to text your BFF that you are not friends with her anymore. <laughs> what? What? Minty, are you just being jealous because you don't have any BFF? Yeah, I do. I've got Brandon and Johnny. Wow. <laughs> wow. 
My answer is no, and don't even try to end my relationship with my best friend. Because that will never happen. It was a truth or dare, and I, I, and I took there, and Johnny said that I uh, said I had to do this, that's all. Uh, yeah! <laughs> Get out of my room, both of you! Okay, jeez. Are you being stupid back there? Why? It was part of my plan. Isn't that obvious that they should break? Well, it isn't a smart way to just end up other BFF relationships. Ugh, come on! I don't even understand you! Come on. The point is, we're gonna capture that robot. What's the point? We already have Barbie. You have stayed with us for many years and you don't even know what we're doing? I know what we're doing, but really though, what's the point? We have Barbie, we have... So, we can be popular. <laughs> yeah, that's all. I don't think you even know either. This is probably the second time I've been in the lab. Good night. Oh. Um. Hi. Are you here to talk? Okay, Fred, I'm so sorry. Don't be. It's actually my fault. Or not just my fault, but Spike and Wendy's fault too. We should have known that you're just a teenager, and you have your own life, and you're just new to this whole thing. And I should have known that you were kind of busy. Well, we shouldn't have yelled at you like that. I mean, we could have also managed fine without you. We did it as a team. And a part of that was to hide it from you. And. We know it's gonna be hard without your dad, but yeah, well, it was your dad's orders to keep it away from you because you were only just a puppy then, but we actually really needed your help. That's why we are so pushy, but we should have known that you're just a teenager and you have your own life, and we actually made it through this seven years, so it's not your fault, it's actually... I know it was actually my dad's orders, but it's actually my fault. Like Spike said, none of this would have happened if I didn't snoop around. Well, sometimes, well for me, I'm kind of thankful that you actually saw it, because then we could have used a little more hand around here, but I should have known earlier that you're not really ready for this either. You're only 14, and there's many things in front of you, but like my dad used to be, I want to help. I really want to. Yeah, you've seen everything though, so you can help. I'm going to help. No matter what, I'll do anything. You guys don't need to hide anything, because that's kind of a double job, isn't it? Don't feel bad about it, Alex. It's okay. I mean, we're actually meant to be your dad's butlers, but now that he's gone, we're now your butlers. We were deserving to get many jobs, you know? Don't call yourselves butlers. Because for me, you guys are like my family. I've known you guys ever since I was three. Bring it in. You know, Alex, sometimes it's kind of annoying that you're so tall and we who are older than you are so short. <laughs> there are many pets taller than me, Fred. I hope so. Anyways, how's Bobby? Um, she won't respond. <sighs> Alex, it's not your fault. You know, Bobby, she really wanted to escape a long time ago. I don't think she's dead, because, you know, we made her, we can fix her. That's a good quote. I hope she survives soon. Yeah, I'm headed to my room. Well, see you tomorrow morning. See you tomorrow morning.
Bobby? Hello, I'm Bobby. Oh, hi Spy. <laughs> hey friend. Bye Wendy. Alex, don't forget your lunch. Right, thanks Wendy. <sighs> You're grown up. Hey, I saw Alex. Yep, she's late again. Yep, almost every day. Guys, you may be proud of me this time. You're not making Bobby into a stereo again, are you? Yeah, about Bobby. Spike, if you do something else about Bobby, she will never recall. <gasps> Hello. I told you, you guys are going to be proud of me this time. <laughs> You're not telling me that you're better than me, are you? I am back! Bobby cannot be wet anymore! Spike did some upgrades! Oh, okay, you did something else, but that that's... G -g -g How can I even believe you? You have been reading your comic super light the whole time! Well, I can prove it! Shower time! Still don't believe you, I think. <laughs> See? I'm waterproofed! Wow, Bobby never showered before! <laughs> but Spike, how? Just a little advice from <laughs> Super Life. Where Alex? Oh, you didn't catch her. She already went to school. Uh, what? Is she leaving Bobby again? Hey, she will be back in seven hours. But she still know I'm dead. Well, you can surprise her. No! I want my new friend to know I'm alive and Bobby never go outside. How unfair. I'm not normal, I know. But please, give me one chance to go outside. Bobby, it's hard to explain. I always have to be inside, not outside! Bobby, last time you went out, you got broken! That was my first life. But now, I have a second life and I want to go outside! Bobby, where are you going? I'm going to Alex's school. She's my friend. And I want her to know that I'm alive. And now that this is my second life, I want to experience the school life! <gasps> One of you, catch her! I'm on it! Oh no. <sighs> Reminds me of Alex. She always wanted to know what we were doing this whole time. <sighs> I feel bad for you both of them. Don't worry, we will make a way. I already told you, I already confessed to Alex. I hope Clamadon does not spot Bobby outside. Don't worry, Spike is after her. <laughs> <laughs>